to observe or participate. Hmm. You know, once you attain a particular elevated perspective on things around you and the world, you know, one can start to ponder upon this question that was posed at the beginning. It's interesting. It's fascinating. I think to say the least, you know, as my being here of uh, sharing the experience with one another or the self, myself, myself in another aspect I will be viewing this other self and themselves. Uh oh. <laughs> you see where things can start to go now, right? Again, elevated perspective. So, <clears throat> this is only going to a particular you know, crowd of people. This will only gravitate to a particular frequency of people. So, if you get it, you get it type of deal, right? It is fascinating, though. At this point, I believe this is where the source is at. You know, because... I want to have an end to that question as well. A N D. Sorry for the thick accent. <laughs> but um, participate and observe. Right? Because I think this is what's ultimately happening currently now. With us being here. Right? Only one energy. Only one energy. Split itself like a water droplet. You know? In different aspects and infinite aspects from the minerals on the ground that can permeate life to the insects yeah? or the kingdom of the air with the birds yeah? or the land animals which then you know turns into the mammals to which then produce the human beings that we are now the bodies, the avatar, if we call it, that we are wearing, which was perfected for us, the uh, supreme consciousness to be in, right? Because we need a really good body to experience this beautiful construct that we uh, created for us to experience it. Yeah. So a lot of observation has been happening and with observing, you are gathering a lot of data Right, <laughs> hence the life experience. What is experience? Data. What is data for? To understand, to know. What? Self. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. And then observe as well, you know, to see what happens. Because again, there's free will. What we see or call it as in this particular realm, you know. Of course, in the higher ups, it may be we call it something else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fascinating, nevertheless, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> As the channel more art than human. Because, you know, as we gather these experiences, this data, it starts to like, you know, becomes a very beautiful thing at the end of it. You know, it's a beautiful story. It's art, you know. <laughs> Interesting concept. And uh, for a very long time, that concept remained in the uh, planes of the uh, thoughts, you know. So I was formulating it and perfecting it. But again, you know, you can't never really know what's going to be until you bring it into the physical world. So hence it being here and hence the channel. You know, so which I'm gonna start permeating much more because niggas missing money, fam. <laughs> and this is another stream that can be, you know, and also another way to like speak to self. See what's going on, you know. See what y'all are thinking. See what uh, aspects of y'all coming from. That's the beauty of us, you know. 
It's beauty and the difference. That, that is the heart of the difference. It is art. It's the sacred heart. <laughs> it's the great works. As one would call it. You know? It's fire. It's fire story, man. Fire story. It's mere Shakespeare was not lying. The world is a stage. Man. It's fire. It's fire. But again, this is the age of Aquarius, right? And uh, in this age comes with a lot of information and knowledge, you know? And so, yeah, we're going to channel this knowledge as much as we can. A lot of people out there in the verse world is already doing so, and they're doing a phenomenal job, you know? And it's only going to increase more. So, I like history, so I've gone in the past, I've gone couple thousands of years in the past. Yeah. Even a hundred couple of years in the past as well. It was very interesting and very fascinating. So what's to come is going to be also even more fascinating. You know? Yeah. High consciousness. High vibrations, man. It's fire. It's fire. It's contagious. You know? But make sure that you spend time with yourself. Spend some time with yourself. A lot of people's gonna be saying a lot of things, you know, take your time with that information. It's gonna always be there. You're gonna always have access to it. Maybe, maybe not, who knows? <laughs> but don't don't sit on it though. You know, gotta do something with it. It came to you for a reason, right? Like how the uh, algorithm would like push a certain video to a particular person, right? And shit came to you for a reason. What is the algorithm? <laughs> what is it a replicate of? replica a replica yeah what is a replica of you know because everything is a copy of something right what's here in the physical world is a copy of it manifested in the spiritual world spiritual world meaning energy energy frequency vibrations things that we cannot see right so they saw it there and brought it there right so what is it a replicate of my question to you <laughs> but um Fascinating again, nevertheless, right? So, that's the aspect of observing the arts, right? But of course, as a creator, each and every one of us, we will create what we created. So we're going to want to participate and have some fun with that thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what these bodies are here for, you know? But of course, there is a balance to these things. And Ma'at, right? The great ancient Kemites. Teaches my eye. You know, approach life with a balance and you'd be good. Straight. Balance all your relationships. Balance your health. Balance your wealth. This is a fire philosophy that goes across many dimensions, right? So, my eye, why not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if the world continues to uphold and take uphold this principle, oof, balance. And what balance creates, you know, Climbing type frequency because he can get more balance. It's a beautiful thing. But um, more about balance in other videos and future videos, you know. That's just one particular frequency of calling it, right? Frequency meaning energy, energy, you know, because there's words to the energy. You know, for me to speak these words, I require frequency, which is the vibration that I'm using to communicate with and so on and so on. <laughs> meaning perspective, right? And that's the beauty of it once again. So, yeah. <laughs> Niggas got to figure out a way to, like, you know, look at another person and be like, damn, that's beautiful. I'm not that, but I can inspire it. You know, I can I can admire it. You know, I can inspire to be it, or I can admire it from a distance. You know, we see Tupac, beautiful being, right? Beautiful character that was, you know, resilient that he was, and everybody inspired to be him. Everybody loved that guy. I love him too. I saw principles that he displayed excellent. I was like, yeah, adopt that into my particular reality. And other principles, I was like, eh, nah, you can keep that, fam. But I understand the industry that he worked in, right? So that's just what that come with. But yeah, that's just a little example, you know. So yeah, it's the art of it, you know. It's the art of all of us, each and every one of us, and what we have to offer it, you know. So yeah, learn to like, you know, observe. And also participate, you know, because we're here for a reason. You know, we want to participate in this creation. You know, and we want to also observe also, you know, 
had a nephew who had a baby, right? And he was like calling me up about a past conversation that I've had with him. And, um, you know, he had a disagreement about it, of course. You know, you're very young, you got a particular perspective. And I understand. And I uh, told him that, well, you, you, you're going to call me back. I don't know why, but you will. You know, you're going to hit me up or whatever. We're going to have a conversation. And it's going to be clear to you. And so-called, that event happened to be when he had his child. <laughs> you know? Interesting, right? These powerful events and what they can do and shape you into. You know? <laughs> Which also brings up another conversation about that. Um, remember that incident with that little Wayne? About his perspective you know, of racism when he was being interviewed during the height of the... Uh, <laughs> to hunt down melanated people in America, you know. There was an interview with him, and he had a question about concerning racism, and of course he answered honestly that he can, because that's his universe and his perspective and his life view of how he saw it. And I saw that the uh, social media world took flame of it, you know. They thought he was very ignorant with his response. But, um, uh, interesting, but of course those who follow Lil Wayne but also know about the story of the incident when he uh, tried to, you know, self-inflict himself with a gunshot wound, you know, successfully, of course. Three officers arrived on the scene, I believe. Two of them were metanated. The other one was non-metanated. And, of course, the metanated brothers thought he was gone and never bothered to check the pulse, while the other one absolutely did his job like he's supposed to, you know. And that ended up changing his perspective, possibly, for the entire of his reality. And of course, he had no experience of it because he doesn't see it in his reality, you know. And um, I learned and understood that. It was very powerful, very, very powerful. It's a principle, right? It works in your reality, but it may not work in others, right? You see what I'm saying? That's where individualism comes into play, right? Because each and every one of us are calibrated to a particular degree. Right, to a degree that there's not ever one of the same person. If in the possibilities, you are the creator. So there can never be an infinite person. I mean, they can never be the same person, <laughs> right? Even in twins, we see that. The body will look the same, sure. But even the fingerprints are different. Small little detail is going to be even different, right? Minuscule, right? But even the soul of those twins are still going to be entirely different. Born on the same day, but who came first and who came second? And what are their names? Numerology. Fascinating. Infinite. Truly, truly, truly. Of course, observing that is when you can come to that conclusion. And who has time to observe in a world of distractions, right? That's the thing. So you got to distract yourself. You got to make an attempt, right? You got to make an attempt, man. Make an effort to separate yourself from the rest. Yeah. Or if you are with the rest, make time for yourself to go within and bring out. To participate. Or well, observe. Ponder on that one. Peace.